In this video, I'll show you how to add WooCommerce orders to Notion automatically. So what will happen every time your customer will place an order into your WooCommerce store, that order data will be collected automatically into the Notion application. In this way, you can keep a track record of all the orders that are being placed by your customer, that too without doing anything manually. Want to set this automation for yourself? Come with me and I will show you the whole process step by step. So to automate this process, I'll have to build an integration in WooCommerce application and in Notion. And I'm going to do that with the Pabli Connect. It is an amazing integration and automation software. I'm already an existing user of Pabli Connect. So here you can see I'm already logged in. You can also create your free account in just two minutes where you will also get free tasks to test this automation. Now, after reaching out to the dashboard, click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to to your workflow to your automation okay so i have pasted the name as when order placed in woocommerce store add order details in notion okay now click on create and then you will find two boxes so these are actually trigger and action so trigger means when this happens then action means do this so whenever this happens automatically do this understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email to your customer via gmail application okay according to our use case whenever any order is placed into woocommerce op application add order details into notion application okay so this is how you need to always select the applications here in this trigger and action in which you are building an automation okay in this case we are building an automation in woocommerce application and in notion application so that is why i have selected these two okay and the idea here is i am going to connect woocommerce first with the pabli connect okay so in this trigger i want that whenever any new order is created the data should be collected by Pabli Connect or this automation should trigger okay so how I can build a connection you will have to follow these instructions one by one so here you can see we have this webhook URL so firstly copy this webhook URL then go back to your WooCommerce application and here go to the setting section and in the setting section you'll have to click on that advanced tab let me show you that okay so this is the advanced tab in this advanced option you will find an option of of the webhooks okay click on this webhooks and then we will be creating a new webhook okay so by clicking on this add new webhook button okay let me first cross these updates Alright, so click on this add a webhook button and provide any random name to your workflow. Okay, so I will provide the name something like connection. Okay, let me take you here connection with notion okay i'm providing any random name and you'll have to change this uh, status from disabled to the active the topic will be the same the order created okay the same topic the same trigger event which we have selected inside our public connect dashboard delivery url well here exactly you'll have to paste the very same url which we have received via public connect this webhook url all right so i have pasted the same okay and this api version will be same click on save and this is how this webhook will be uh, added here and our woocommerce application and pabli connect is connected successfully okay here you can see it is showing webhook updated successfully okay coming back to pabli connect and here you can see a blank response is received so after this blank response you'll have to click on this recapture button once again okay and now you can see it is started waiting for the webhook response which means log into the application where you have added the webhook URL do a test submission record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response so basically it is asking to oh, do a test submission or record and here the test submission means creation of a new order basically we are going to place a new order into our store i'm going to place just a dummy order in front of you okay so how about i order this mic okay so i'm going to place a dummy order in front of you and you will see how this order detail will be connected collected via public connect i'm sorry for that 
all right so the name of the customer is test customer here we have added the company name the country is india the street address i have also added the city is in the state is madhya pradesh here i have also added the pin code a dummy phone number and a dummy email address as admin at the rate pavlichuge.com let me click on this place order button and this is how the order will be placed and you will see how the after the order placement the details will be captured via pavli connect as well all right so thank you your order has been received come back to pavli connect and again wait for that order data and here you can see after waiting for few seconds the order data is collected the response is received let me show you the details one by one so here we have the total price here we have the status here we have the shipping the total okay let me show you other details as well okay so here we have the product name okay this is the method that is free shipping all right here we have the customer details we even have okay this is the first name this is the last name this is the country okay this is the company name this is the city name we also have the pin code okay where is the pricing and the product name i'll have to check that as well all right so let me search for the product name all right so here i have this line item name that is the product name as well okay do i also have the date of this order creation yes we do have this date as well okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between woocommerce application and pabli connect is working absolutely fine okay so what will happen now onwards every time any order is placed into your woocommerce store the details will be captured via pabli connect instantly because the trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so the first step of our automation is done now i want to collect this order data automatically into the notion and in the action event i am going to create click on this create database item okay i'm sorry for that now uh, just like i have connected woocommerce with pabli connect now i will be connecting this notion with the pabli connect okay choose this add a new connection click on this connect with notion and provide the access of your notion application well i am already logged in into my notion application into a different app so instead of asking me for the access it will ask me for the permission directly okay click on select pages and make sure that you provide the access of all those pages in which you would like to create the automation okay so uh, let me click on this all okay and here i have provided the page access of all order details as well okay click on allow access and this is how the authorization is successful and notion is also connected with the pabli connect okay and firstly whatever the databases are available inside my notion application have started visible here okay so let me show you i have few databases the few pages created inside my notion okay these are actually visible here okay and i am going to select this all order details page okay so here it is already got selected because it is the most recent page i have selected asking for the email address delivery date and time of order placement price okay from where this data has came out okay so whatever the columns i have added inside my my database inside my table these same columns data is visible inside public connect basically the customer name okay i will show you from the end okay here we have the delivery added address the date and time of order placement the product the price the product name uh, the email address okay and here we have the customer name okay let me show you these are the same columns the email address the delivery date the date and time of the order placement here we have the price column the product link customer name product name and content this is the default column i have not added it okay so i am going to provide the details one by one here and you will see how it will be automated basically the details will be automatically added here okay so from where i am going to provide this detail okay remember we have just captured our data into our previous step okay so i am not going to manually copy this data and paste into the notion i am going to map it and mapping is very simple inside pabli connect okay simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down let me search for the email address okay so here we have the customer's email address asking for the delivery date date and time of order placement okay so let me also search for the date and time so here we have multiple dates 
one is for the modified date the created date so how about i map this created date okay asking for the price so let me search for the price i will remember that it was something fifteen thousand. all right okay so this is how i am going to map these details one by one okay so let me first to do do that all right so i have provided all the details and have mapped the data one by one and in this delivery address i have mapped four feet field one is for the house name for second one is for the society name third one is for the city name and lastly i have also mapped the state and how about we also mapped this shipping code that is the post code okay this is the date of placement this is the price this is the custom name and again i have individually mapped this first name and the last name now i'll be clicking on this button save and send test request Alright, so I'll have to wait for that response and here you can see the customer name, the email address of the customer, the product name, the price, the date and time of order placement and the delivery address. All the details has been collected, have been collected automatically inside our Notion application. Okay, so this is how now onwards, every time your customer is going to place an order into your WooCommerce store, that order data will be collected automatically inside your Notion database item and to order to make this process you need to create this automation inside Pabli Connect just once after that you do not have to do anything manually you can even simply close Pabli Connect because once you have set this automation sit back and relax because Pabli Connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually just in case if you want to access this automation inside your Pabli Connect account I will also add the link of my workflow into the description box okay you just need to click on that link and sign up into the public connect and the same workflow you will be able to access inside your public connect account that too for free and here let me tell you a very important thing that whatever the details here we have mapped these details will replace automatically when this automation will work in real time so what will happen let's say a new customer placed an order firstly public connect will capture the details of that new customer and then Public Connect will automatically replace these values, basically the email address and the delivery address and so on. Okay, so that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation and this is how this automation is going to take place. Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect and for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.